Ayo duckies and the lippy here. Yes, I'm saying Ayo duckies. You keep asking, all right? Just like you keep asking this same question as well. How do I keep filming all my YouTube videos, doing so much content, stuff like that? And it's all about streamlining the process. So today I'm going to show you exactly how I record using multiple versions of OBS open at the same time and how that all works. So without further ado, let's get into it. Put your rock over the stone. Let's go. Right, so there's a load of different ways that you can do this, and personally, I think this is the best way, because it's more streamlined for the things that I do. Well, you've seen how many videos I can knock together, and it's so easy to do. So, uh, there are a couple of different pieces of software that you are going to need. I've done tutorials on pretty much all of them, but it, this is all about tying it all together. So, as you can probably see, I'm using OBS to record this scene that we're on now, so you're getting this scene inception the inception jazz that is kind of repeating in here but obviously i can't really show you anything that's going on in here without using studio mode but again that looks messy so what i do is i run a separate version of obs so i've got two i've got three on my computer actually i've got one that's got no plugins on so i can cross reference it to see if there's a plugin that i've installed ages ago and forgot that that's actually not in obs so i always make sure i've got the best information for you guys and i've also got my youtube filming one which is the one that I'm using now. And then I've got my actual one, uh, which I use for streaming and showcasing the things that I've been up to and what I've been making. And the way that I kind of install them is I jump over to the OBS website, press download. Uh, it will uh, give you an EXE to install, uh, as you can probably see just here down at the bottom, just there. Uh, just open that up and run through the installation process. I can't show it you right now because if you've got OBS running, it doesn't allow you to install another one. So make sure you close OBS. And rather than install it to program files, just install it to your desktop in a folder. And you'll get something that looks a little like this. OBS-Studio all in here. The next thing you need to do is use it in portable mode for the best kind of um, so it's not reading the, the same scene collection and stuff like that. So the way you do that is create a text file called portable underscore mode dot txt. It doesn't have to have anything in it. It's just as long as it's looking like that. There's no text in it or anything like that. You just put it in this main folder and then when you open this you'll see that it will open OBS as a second instance. It won't say anything. And this means I can start looking in here and editing without getting a scene-ception and stuff like that. And I can still control my old uh, zooms and stuff like that, as you can see right here. I can zoom in on stuff with my uh, shortcuts. I'm going to leave a link to all these videos down below and just there. And this means I can edit anything that directly inside here, show you guys if I want to change hotkeys, for instance, and things like that. And it just makes it a lot clearer on exactly how that works. So next up, you're probably thinking, yeah, but when you're using OBS and you're, you're controlling the canvas, for instance, let me just change the preview scaling so I can zoom it in and out. Uh, I normally have like my webcam in there and I'm adding effects to my webcam whilst I'm videoing my webcam. And as you know, if I press the plus sign on the sources and go to video capture device and I'll call it webcam for now, press OK. You'll see I can't load up my Logitech C920, even if I deactivate it and reactivate it, because it's already being used somewhere else on my computer. So this is where a cool plugin from Exceldro, which I've covered again, link in the description, where a good plugin from Exceldro, if I jump into studio mode here and go across to my Logitech cam, as you can see just here, I can actually right click on that, press filters and add the virtual camera filter. So this, rather than just using the, the start virtual camera inside of OBS, it means I can select just a single source or a single scene to always be on screen in the virtual camera. So so if I activate that, call it virtual camera, um, sometimes mine gets stuck, so I turn it off and turn it back on just to make sure, because I do usually have a lot of different things open at once, and then go back to my other version of OBS and go to OBS virtual camera, you'll see now I've got my cam up in two different places. I can resize it, I can add filters to this if I want to, so I can show you guys, oh, here's how to add a blur effect filter, for instance, or something like that. I've not got that installed on this version of OBS though. So I'll add a color correction, and as you can see, if I start changing this, uh, maybe add the saturation, there we go. Who's a handsome guy? Blah, 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 blah. But it's not affecting the camera that you're seeing previously. So that's how I show you guys, just using one webcam, 
to uh, kind of show you guys how you can edit things on there without actually editing the video and still being able to control this camera to go full screen and stuff like that. I mean, there is a lot of uses for this. Uh, I just thought I'd just do a quick video on it because I do get asked quite a lot how I do that and it just causes you to do less video editing so you can pump out more content it is really interesting trust me just give it a go and let me know what you think all right guys like I say these videos do take me a lot to do so if you want to help support the channel join either the uh, YouTube members or Patreon all that jazz Patreon guys you get to uh, beta test any software and things that I put together and test all the things before I put them on YouTube so let's yeah crack on much love put your rock over the stone bye I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys, and also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.